Okay, so let's see here. System updates. Let's click on that. Are they allowed to use my cellular data? Uh, no. Can they use Wi-Fi data? No. That's all off. Let's go back. Device software OTA. Let's click on that. Can that use cellular data? No, it can't. Can it use Wi-Fi? No, it can't. That's now all done. Let's now check for those Amazon updates. Let's check for these updates. And would you know, in a couple of seconds, can we get those updates? No, we can't. So with this new process, we can now once again fully block all of these Amazon updates coming to any of our devices, our Fire Sticks, our Fire TVs, really any Amazon device can now be fully protected to ensure that it doesn't receive any more updates. So in this video today, let me take you through this process, which doesn't rely on any router changes or DNS changes or use any custom block list. And it is something that will work across all of your devices. So please do take a moment to hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Now to start the process, make sure you've enabled unknown sources and also ADB debugging. Open up Downloader, and we're now going to make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoctoruk.com, or you can type in the short code 53402. Let's type that in and click on Go, and this will take you directly to my website. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, let's click on that, click on Tutorials, and the latest tutorial in the list will be how we can now use this new method to block all of these Amazon updates. So let's open that up. Here we are. So here we can see some information about these new uh, Fire OS versions, the ones that contain the block. And if your device already has these versions, then unfortunately, Launch Manager or Custom Launchers is going to be broken for you. Now with my method or my fix, this is the result we're hoping for. So when you see that on your device, it means that no more updates can be pushed to your device without you knowing. Let's scroll down. Now there's gonna be a bunch of files to download depending on what you want to do. Now for the method I'm gonna show you requires two files or two applications, AdGuard and also Permission Manager. Now, if you just want to use my normal TDUK update blocker, depending on which version you have on your device, you can just download the third link here if you want to do that. And maybe you should start with that first just to confirm that your device can't be blocked because if it can be blocked, you don't need to use any of these other applications. And the way that you know it can't be blocked is when you run the update blocker, you'll see some security warnings or security errors. And the last file is remote ADB shell, which I did speak about in my last video, that if your device has already downloaded the update but not installed it, you can basically install this application, run this one command, and that will then clear those updates for you. Now in my device, which is the 4K Fire Stick, as I'm running 6.2.8.1, as I cannot use the update blocker on my device, I'm gonna download these two here. Let's start with AdGuard, click on that, scroll down and click on this green download button. So download that first. Let's press back on the remote. Let's now get the permission manager. Let's click on that and click on the green download button. Let's press back. And lastly, just to make sure that we can clear those downloads in case they've already been downloaded, I also recommend you download the remote ADB shell. Once you've downloaded and installed all three onto your device, let's now press the home key. And here are our new two applications. We have AdGuard and we also have Permission Manager. Now the first one we want to open is the Permission Manager as we need to assign some special permissions to AdGuard so we can then block those system applications. Let's open that up. Now this is a very simple application created by my developer, Sween Wolf, and once again, he's done a fantastic job making this process as easy as possible. Now what we want to do here is click on the first one because we want to modify the permissions for AdGuard. Let's click on that. Let's scroll down. Now, these are the individual Android permissions. And the one that we're interested in is this one here, which is Android.permission.packageUsageStats. So if I click on that, go to the right, and just behind my head, we can see allow. So let's click on that. And the very first time you do this, it will actually ask you to make an ADB connection. So if you see that prompt, click on yes and always allow. Now that we've done that, 
I can now press the back button, press the home key, and let's now start Ad Guard for the first time. Let's click on that. Now we can disable these hints by pressing back on the remote. Let's do that now. So I'm not going to go into details about this application because it really has so many features and I don't want to waste time in this video as I know lots of you are just interested in blocking those updates. But if you're interested, I will create another video for you guys. So the first thing you want to do is just go to the top, click on the hamburger menu and where it says app management, let's now click on that. And this is now going to show you all of the applications on your device and then allow you to have custom settings for them. Like for example, block internet access, uh, block adverts for those applications and so on and so forth. So let's press back again so we can ignore those hints and we can see all of the applications on our device, system applications, user applications. Now to make the process a little bit easier, let's go back to the top and we can utilize the search. So let's click on the magnifying glass. Let's click on that. Let's now just search for OTA. So all of those system packages, there's three in total, but the two that we're interested in all have OTA in the name. So let's just search for OTA, which stands for over the air, as these updates do come over the air. And let's click on next. And we now have these three packages. So the two that we're really interested in is the top one, which is device software OTA, and the one called system update. So let's click on the first one. And we can now see how many requests there have been. Keep scrolling down. And we can now control the data usage for this particular application. So in our case, we can see by default, the application is allowed to use data, Wi-Fi data or cellular data. But because we want to restrict this application, I'm going to click on this, turn that off. Let's click on this and turn that off. The rest is fine as default. So we're basically saying this application or this system process no longer has any access to my Wi-Fi or has any access to make a data connection out to the internet. Once we've confirmed that, let's now press back on the remote once. Let's once again search for OTA, OTA. Click on next. And let me just give a big shout out to Ryan, who is one of the members of my private chat group on Telegram who actually tested this fix for me and told me about it. So if you guys do want to support my work for just $1 a month, do have a look in the video description or the pinned comment on how you can join my private chat group. Okay, so we've done the first one. Let's now go for system updates. Let's now click on that. Let's now again scroll down. And again, I'm gonna turn off the cellular data, turn off the Wi-Fi data. That's now all done. Let's now press back again back one more time and we now need to start the protection. So if I go down to where it says protection disabled, let's click on that. And the very first time you'll do this, it will actually prompt you that it's now going to create a local VPN. Now the reason it needs to do that is for you to have control of your device, block the system processes accessing the internet. To have that kind of control, it basically creates that virtual VPN. Now, whilst that virtual VPN is running, it means you can't run another VPN at the same time, but I will talk more about that in just a second. So now that we see protection is enabled, I can now press the home key. I can now go over to settings. I can click on about, and now when I click on check for updates, give that a second. And because AdGuard is now blocking those processes, they have no way of accessing the internet on my device. And what that basically means is as long as AdGuard is running in the background, I'm not going to get any more updates downloaded to my device. Now, as I mentioned before, if you already have an update downloaded on your device, don't restart your device. Open up Remote ADB Shell. Let's click on that. When you do this for the first time, you will see this prompt. Let's click on OK. Now for the IP address, I can just type in 127 .0 .0 .1. And this is because I'm doing this directly on my device. If you're doing remote ADB show from your Android phone or from another computer, type in the actual IP address of your Fire Stick. Let's click on next. Let's leave the default port as 5555. Click on next. Click on connect. Click on always allow. Click on OK. And when you see that Mantis prompt, it basically means that you've now made an ADB connection to your device. And we can now just type in that command, which you'll get from our website. In fact, to make this easier, I can use the Fire TV app remote on my phone. 
which basically has a virtual keyboard. So anything I type in, we can see appears there. So I can now just copy and paste the command from my website. Now, before you paste it, you do have to bring up the virtual keyboard. So if I click on the bottom line, I can now see the keyboard. I can now go back to the app on my phone, click on paste. There's the command there. I can now click on run. That's a success. Anything that was downloaded before on my device, I've now cleared that. And as I mentioned in my last video, I'm working on a toolbox that can basically run this command for you with one click. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure you are subscribed with all notifications. Now regarding those limitations, I know lots of you do actually use your device without using any VPN. So having this restriction with AdGuard won't really affect you. Now, if you are somebody that has to use a VPN, as soon as you activate your VPN, there is a chance that in the background, Amazon will once again start pushing those updates to your device. If you see that on your device, make sure you run that PM clear command just to make sure that anything downloaded has been cleared. So again, nothing can be installed on your device without you knowing. So that's all for this video, guys. Many thanks for watching. I'm not gonna say this is the best fix, but for lots of you, it does provide a solution in blocking those updates. I'm still trying a couple of different other workarounds, which I don't want to give up on. So again, as soon as I find out anything, I will create a new video or a community post Make sure you have hit that subscribe button with all notifications so you know exactly when that video drops. So really appreciate your support. Do like and share this video and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.